Hey, how's it going guys? This is Justin, AKA Fajir Fanatic, back with another badass fragrance review. And this time we're gonna keep this train rolling and we're gonna talk tonight about Moth and Rabbit's blow up. Not the blow up. This kind of blow up. This is a 2015 release. The perfumer behind this is the same with the entire house, it is Mark Buxton. What the story behind this is, he was very inspired by a, the oil painting scene in the movie. Um, go check it out. I'm not gonna put it up. It is definitely worth the watch. And another Irish drinking song. Consumption took me mother and me father got the pox. Let's talk about the notes. Black currant and cardamom, rhubarb and saffron are definitely what it opens up with. It definitely opens up sweet. You can definitely smell the rhubarb. I can totally to smell the rhubarb. Um, if that lasted much longer, it probably wouldn't be as appealing as it is because it does dry down to a cypro incense, uh, myrrh, amber, birch. Um, it does have more of a, a calmer, a more of a neutral um, middle, a, a more of a neutral heart to it. Um, and then the dry down is really where this becomes uh, what it what it really should be. Um, and that's where the, the civet, the cystus labdanum and the leather um, really start to emerge. Um, and this, like many other fragrances from this house, they dry down skanky on me. Uh, my skin runs animalistic and uh, they just, it just feels, uh, it's a musky aura just comes out of uh, me when I uh, wear these fragrances and uh, I'm all okay with that. Um, nothing but compliments with this house. Nothing but compliments. You can get this on their website, mothandrabbit.com, or you can also visit Lucky Scent. They have it there as well. When you spray this, as always, let's bring it in. Let's get in here, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely opens up sweet. Yeah, but it dries down. I get dusty antiques, dusty feathers, green fall leaves, marijuana. The perfumer said he was very inspired with the oil painting. And after a while, I definitely get a feeling of uh, an oil painting note to it. It definitely feels very industrial. Um, this has a very industrial feel to it. Um, not really in like a 1966 feel um, or necessarily a feel of being in a dark room or the you know essence of chemicals in a dark room, um, but definitely a, an industrial feel like being in a factory or being in a warehouse um, is what I get with this. Um, it is very, it does have very working like a blue collar feel to it a working man's quality you went out you had a hard day's work and this is kind of like the smell of working towards success almost um which doesn't match with the name but like well you know like it is we all have different stories that go on our heads so what do i think overall basically if this didn't become a skin scent after about four hours this would probably get about an 8 8.5 rating but since it does become a skin scent after you know three four hours I have to drop this down to a solid 6.8 out of 10. Uh, but yeah um, moth and rabbit blow up check it out and uh, yeah as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Um, or hit subscribe. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, talk at you.